No. I'm shoot running. Shoot the drone. I'm, I'm full shoot the drone. sprinting. <laughs> I'm going to harpoon the, the drone. drone please. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know what we're doing, but I see that we're running, so I'm coming with. <laughs> okay. Cle- Cletus is like a dog. <laughs> so uh, go ahead. I-, I think the person who has the most uh, capable firearm is probably Stanley. Uh, yep. Martha, who has a submachine gun. Uh, yep. Stanley, go for it. <laughs> no, Martha uh, has I'm a submachine running, gun. Though. So um, go ahead and roll to kick some I mean, ass. I I think she was uh, fumbling it, uh, with her gun you... because she'd had it reholstered or something, so I would okay. love to have Stanley take that. Mm. Please. Stanley, go for it. Oh, I was just yeah. it. All right. <laughs> uh, I do have a spear. So Okay, yeah. I, I chucked the spear, so that's going to be a tough... Correct? Yes. That is a two, uh, so that is a total of four. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you are unhelpful. <laughs> yeah, and, and no one can uh, really help you out there. Can I take a separate um, roll? I'm still... Did you just stab yourself in the foot with I'm a spear? I'm having a little trouble with the, uh, getting oh, out of the, yeah. the child seat. It's kind of throwing off my throat. <laughs> it's stuck in the booster <laughs> seat. <laughs> so uh, you chuck your spear to try to throw it uh, and you miss, and as uh, does it hit me? <laughs> Martha's like pulling out her gun to try to throw. It doesn't hit you, but it like uh, clangs against your gun. Your gun like slides away from you, and the spear Jesus. like bounces off to no. the side. Sorry, can't really rotate. Can I take a shot at the drone? Uh, I want yeah. that gun. Sure. I, it now has possession of the weapon and is trying to fly away. Fuck. I think, uh, Karen, you can yeah. try to shoot it okay. with your uh, harpoon gun. Um, please don't fail me now. Come on. Ten. <gasps> Thank God. Hey. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, you are able to hit it with your harpoon gun. How much damage does that do? Um, I think it does one harm to everything that's not an employee. Okay. You are able to hit the drone, um, but that's not going to be enough damage well, in order har- to harpoon uh, gun suggests My harpoon has a yeah, rope. It's like it's, a rope, right? Yeah, it's got like a chain on question, it. Question, question. I I want to climb <laughs> the rope and hit it with my stick. Yeah, I don't think we need to have... I just want to pull it to the ground. I think if, if there's a rope attached, it, it just can't get away, at least. It's for hunting whales. I mean, I still want to run up the rope like a cartoon character and hit it with my stick. I mean, if this thing is picking up a Gauss cannon, it probably could also pick up a person. Oh, yeah. How big, comparatively, is this thing? Can it pick up a person and a clown? (laughs) The normal drones are apparently the size of a person's head, so... Okay, yeah, you... uh, I don't know why I was imagining a harpoon gun. (laughs) It was just the harpoon and not the rope. But yeah, you hit it. Um, So... I think if we're doing sort of like uh, combat rules, the person who would have to take an action here would be Cletus. Okay, so just to just to clarify, you're saying that the harpoon and rope was not enough, and I need to go hit this thing with a stick. I- I'm saying it's your <laughs> turn, and you can do whatever you oh, want. No. There is a harpoon that's stuck in it currently with uh, a-, a rope that's attached. Uh, and it's trying to carry away the big, massive weapon. And if you don't think I'm going to hit, climb, run up that rope like a Looney Tune and hit it with a stick, then that means I'm going to do it. So okay. here well, we go. If you're going to try to do that, I need you to make, like, a, a use magic roll in order to run up the rope and do it, and then a, a separate roll to hit it with a stick. Well, my use magic roll is a nine, so... Okay. You're able to get up it. And my kick some ass roll to hit it with my twirling baton is also a nine. Okay, that's a mixed success. Uh, You are able to not hit the drone, but you dislodge the uh, weapon from its grasp, uh, but you also dislodge the uh, harpoon from it in your strike. No! Ah! So it sort of spins off and is gliding away. Uh, it realizes it's been defeated and is now uh, flying away. But you have possession of uh, the weapon. Hey! <laughs> How are you saving yourself from falling uh, like 20 feet from taking any damage, though, Cletus? <laughs> Do I get to take a roll for that? No, you just pull out your umbrella if you have 
one of like an umbrella in one of your really deep pockets. And I obviously have an umbrella in one of my very deep pockets. Of course. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. God damn it! I scoop up my gun Perfect. that I dropped. Um. Okay. So to. S- yeah, yeah. You you all recover your items. You are able to get the gun. Um, and my spear. Yes. Going in my armory van. Uh, to sort of speed through some of the stuff that happens after this, uh, you are told that, like, uh, because you were victorious, you're able to um, sort of give some instruction to the uh, bandit camp here to try to tell them stuff that they should do. Um, they don't have to necessarily completely follow you if they don't want to so if it's too extreme of a demand they might not want to but they inform you that like if your goal is to unite the tribes um that they could uh demand that the uh summer sail tribe which usually holds um uh the summer sail tribe usually holds a uh semi-seasonal uh summit that collects a bunch of the different tribes together in one place to just like chill for a minute um, cause that's a place that's set in like, uh, the <laughs> summer sale section of the store where there's a bunch of like pools and stuff. So, uh, it's a very relaxing thing and they may not, may or may not have some SCP 420 J. So <laughs> the summit is known as the summer sale semi-seasonal super special summit. But since you would be doing, uh, this like, uh, not semi-seasonal, it's like an off season form. It would be a supplementary summer sale, semi-seasonal super special. Ah, uh, yes. Stanley is spectacular. Very knows much about the summer sale semi semi seasonal super special summit. Of course. <laughs> yes. I, I well, I think that you may forget parts of the summer sale semi seasonal super special summit just because uh, it kind of gets crazy. But you do know it's like a good chance for everyone to kick back and uh, just sort of relax and not have to worry about uh, the impending doom that they all experience here it's sort of like the opposite of the purge where like instead of every now and then they just purge it's like every now and then you just take a chill pill for a minute so you know that that uh, stanley would typically be the note taker for the canopy tribe whenever it came to talking about this he was really like you know the go-to guy so it was the summer sale semi-seasonal super special special summit specialist stanley (laughs) God, <laughs> you added one more S. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> cool. Yes, that's what you. That, that was your title. <laughs> also, um, can I can I have can I have votes from the rest of the party that we uh put the guy with the ass in charge of the tribe? I have absolutely no complaints about that. <laughs> what wait? What is this man's name? Doesn't bother that, me one bit. I just. I everyone just think the, he's I just think agrees. he's really got the spirit that this place is really looking for. I know for. exactly what you you're, you're talking about. I, so what's your name? Hold on. <laughs> what's your name, see, man? I need to I need to see if uh I was provided any good <laughs> names from Eric we're trusting you here. <laughs> Eric did have something earlier. Hold on. I can't I'm going to go to uh Google Translate. His name, his name <laughs> is the Clap of Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Please just let it be thunderclap. That's so good. Well, smor smorbol was uh Swedish for butterball. <laughs> oh my Wait, god! What? No, it is not. Thunderclap is Aska Clappa. <laughs> yes! We yes! have a winner, folks. <laughs> I need to step away. (laughs) (laughs) That's his name. (laughs) Please put in chat. Please, I need to see how this is spelled. I need to see all the accents, all the double dots, all the omelas. That's it. (laughs) All hail King Aska (laughs) Kalapa. All hail King Aska Kalapa. Oh, hell, uh, it, King Aska <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> and his holy big uh, meal. This world knows two gods, Gun and Aska Clappa. <laughs> I, I just had uh, Google Translate oh. pronounce it for me. It's, it's supposed to be Aska Clappa, but it's Aska Clappa. That's oh what we're going with. Oh, my fucking God. I had to... <laughs> 
I've I, never been my happier. Friends call me <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I would not have apologized for derailing the focus on this man's because I was just like, oh haha, beefy dude, horny. Oh god. Yeah. But now I'm extra not apologetic about it. The, I'd say- the one shot's ending here. Oh. That's the we can't go any higher than this. Yeah, That's it. Peaked. Hope you guys have fun. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Yeah, there's there's no <clears throat> game left, but I mean what's I left mean, beyond I, this? I second or third the previous call for fan art, please. Dude, I'm <laughs> I am about please to draw this man's myself. Fan art. Yeah. I'm yeah, not good at uh, art, but I'm about to do some fan art. <laughs> I'm going to my own Discord server now, and I'm just dropping an out of context post. Oh and my god! Please, please, please do. <laughs> I oh, oh my god! Wait, hold on. <clears throat> so, uh, your current route is you can go to uh, the semi seasonal super special summit, uh, or, or try to get everyone here uh, to like the bandits can go out and try to collect everyone to get this to happen. Um, alternatively, if you wanted, um, I think it's been a while since either Cletus or, um, Martha has tried uh, a a few things that you're capable of. Martha, you can try to, uh, continue working on the drone that you had been working on and try to figure out where it came from, uh, if you want to just try to directly, uh, face whatever this threat is that's been coming after you. Um... Or there's also the Cletus route, where he is able to anomalously smell where meatballs are at. And you learn from... Excuse me? Excuse mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. Say that one more time for me? You're able to anom- anomalously smell where the meatballs are at. You were following your nose previously, following meatballs, whenever you ran into uh, everyone else initially. You are correct. Can he... Mm-hmm. Well, here's, here's the question, though. Can he float along the scent, like, by his yeah. nose, like, hovering in the air? That's exactly uh, what he was doing when he actually uh, came upon fantastic. all of you. He just sort of, like, dropped yeah. to the ground quickly to, so was that you didn't notice. Was this in notice. session zero? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, that was in his session zero. That's, like, actually Follow-up what Follow-up question, did. do we have to get outside of the range of interference of Aska Klappa's ass before he can properly pick up the location of the meatballs again? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just 100. No, uh, you would. I, I think it may have been a while. Uh, after there's like some revelries and celebrations, you're able to t- take a minute to converse among yourselves, and you like are able to just chill here for a bit. Like you could even like stay here for a day and just party for a while, um, while a- everyone maybe uh, you get rid of the <laughs> that you brought from the IKEA. Well, she needs more fuel for the car. Nobody, nothing tries to come, but. That's true. You shove it into the you shove it into the fuel tank. So uh you're now up to you were at like half a tank, you're now at like three quarters of a tank. Um weirdly. So you um sorry, would you say the, the, the fuel costs an arm and a leg? Uh sorry? Would you say the fuel uh, costs an arm and a leg? Oh god. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes it does. Uh okay. So you can uh, either just directly try to follow uh, Cletus's nose to uh, you do notice when you try to smell and follow where the scent is there is an overwhelming smell like a bunch of them have been stuffed into one area um, that you can sense the direction of you can't quite like pinpoint it but you know which direction to head and uh, if you wanted um I think that enough time would pass during this if you wanted to. Uh, Martha can try to uh, hack mm-hmm. into the drone to get some more information. Since you have a direction to go, you don't necessarily need to do it to get the direction or the, the exact location. You could try to get some more uh, information if you want. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm down. So, so then just to clarify, recap, we're kind of hanging out the rest of the day the rest of the day there with the the revelries and stuff you have some options and uh mm-hmm. you know just uh, discussing and then cletus is getting a bead on that scent for direction and martha while like some of the revelry is going on is working on the drone distractedly uh <laughs> yeah so uh like 
we can put you into the situation where um, Cletus is standing around and like is, has been intently looking in one direction, trying to see if he can see meatballs on the horizon. And uh, you just have the eureka moment of you finally uh, hack into okay. the drone and you're able to do what you want. Everyone else is uh, surrounding you. You're like mm -hmm. uh, either sitting in the car <clears throat> okay. or like nearby and then, it. Just to clarify, is this the exact drone I was coming in to retrieve or is this this seemed like it was a modified one? That maybe, like a maybe, there's a group that has been downing mm. and and repurposing the drones, and that's why there was like the one that was lost. Or to recount for both you and anyone who uh, was not keyed into your episode zero, as as well as everyone else um, here who's playing, when uh, Martha do you hasn't want to reveal divulged this her exact Sorry. motives or reason for being here mm -hmm. to the other people necessarily but like the players obviously you guys can know mm -hmm. yeah i i can give you a reminder of what yeah. happened in your session zero then uh, just uh, without revealing too much just a general so uh you were previously on the outside of the store um sort of helping to secure the store you were stationed at uh, scp 3008 uh just sort of making sure that nothing weird came out of it and nobody tried to go into it that wasn't supposed to um, and during this time, uh, there was a D class that was stupid and got lost in the, uh, infinite Ikea that somehow lost his memory and was just not responding and destroyed a drone that you all sent in at some point. So you were tasked with sending in like a more advanced drone with like weaponry on it. And at that time, there were foundation employees that had been, uh, seemingly modified with some sort of foundation tech it would have been during the daytime which is especially weird and they were chasing a tribes person out of the store they struck down that tribes person you were able to prevent them from taking the drone but since you noticed they were modified with foundation tech you took your instruction of recover the foundation asset uh, that had been vaguely given to you by your overbearing overseers um, as an opportunity to go in and try to recover what uh, these uh, IKEA employees had been set up with. Right, okay. So that was, I guess, the part where I was just not clear on. Was mm -hmm. it the first drone that was down that I was supposed to be retrieving, or I'm investigating the modified employees in place of sending another drone in? The the drone you currently have is the one that you got um, at the at the beginning of today's session I, with um, yeah I, th that had been spectating you uh, as you were rescuing the Pelo tribe. Yeah, but you said like the the drone we initially sent in was down. I was wondering if that was uh, you you prevented the uh, like altered IKEA employees from taking that one. Oh, I thought we were sending you, that you one in to successful. retrieve a different. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Yeah, they they sab. They were they were trying to take that one whenever you were uh, at the entrance of the IKEA, but uh, you prevented them from taking it. They damaged it so that it wasn't able to be sent in at the time, um, and you saw them running away. So you thought mm, I could go okay. stop them because they have foundation stuff on them too. Right. Okay. Sorry. So mm -hmm. TLDR, I was going to send a drone in to investigate these modified employees. The drone got mm -hmm. damaged. I'm just like, whatever. I'll do it instead. Okay. Yes, you put on the Thanos gauntlet and did it yourself. I've got the Thanos gauntlet. Okay. <laughs> so you just managed to get the uh, drone fixed to the point where you can hack into it and get information. Uh, Sick. You may do with the situation as you will. I hacked the drone. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm not sure where. Uh, I've. I've. You can either try. Like, do you want to hack into it and get more? information about what your threat is or do you want to get um like the exact location of the person who's controlling the drones i guess knowing the source would probably be helpful god i don't know she'll think on that what's everyone else doing while this is happening stanley searching is... for you, you can ask for their uh input if you'd what? like you can like uh do it in character i just don't know if she would divulge too much so, okay, I, you know, fair. I don't know if she's necessarily wanting to. I am happy to intrude. I'm happy to walk up and be like, <laughs> hey there, 
can that robot there that you're dealing with hunt for meatballs? Ah, uh, no. It's, uh... What, what, what is... Well, then why are you wasting so much time with it? It's, it's got other important, uh, information on it. I, what is your deal with the meatballs? I don't really get... That. I mean, they're good, I guess. But, uh... I was told that they were much better than they were in Sweden, and that's why I came here, but now you've got me distracted. If you're not here for meatballs, what could be more important than meatballs? And the eyes stare at more important than meatballs. It, my eyes didn't turn into knives, but staring daggers has never been more pertinent to a phrase than, hmm. <sighs> ah, well... All right, so, uh, are we, are we going to that summer sale, semi-seasonal, super special summit, Stanley? Or, uh, cause, uh, I, let me tell you, I could really go for a summer sale, semi-seasonal, super special summit smoothie right now. Ooh, that does sound good. I know, right? Sorry, I missed that. Can you, can you say that name, though, just, like, three more times faster, though? <laughs> summer sale, <laughs> semi-seasonal, super special summit smoothie with strawberries in it. Color me impressed, solution. <laughs> um... <laughs> So to, how to say, not plumb away, I guess, but, like, Stanley doesn't quite want to get down to business, like, just yet. I don't know how, how immediate this, this call to action is to anyone else. My, my call to action is, while we're here conversing, and I keep apparently working on drones and things, and talking about a super special summer smoothie of some sort, I just want the one person in our party... Who knows a thing about a thing about this place, it seems. Hey. Hey. Where do we get the meatballs? Would Stanley know where to get the meatballs, DM? So, in your experience, Stanley, you have been uh, with the Canopy Tribe for quite a while, and you mm -hmm. would go on regular scavenging hunts throughout the uh, Infinite Ikea to try to get as many resources as you can for mm -hmm. your tribe, uh, including food. You know that you get a lot of your food from uh, restocked uh, vending machines and that you come occasionally across a uh, stand meant for the sale of like a bunch of their food. Um, you have come across these a handful of times, um, but you noticed recently that like they less and less had meatballs at them. And you uh, found out from both the, uh, pillow pilferers and the screaming bandits or uh, screeching bandits rather that uh neither of them have found any meatballs recently either and mm. they're significantly larger uh, in number than you are so just to to summarize so stanley would not know where to find meatballs you you would uh but since things sort of randomly reset every now and then mm -hmm. you wouldn't know a specific spot to go to but if you saw a stand you would be like ah yeah those are the ones where you get the meatballs from. okay yeah so i'd be able to identify it but i wouldn't have a map either mm -hmm. yeah no since uh the layout of things sort of changes pretty constantly you wouldn't be able to uh get the exact location of where you could go to get it so there are tribes in a lot of sectors has any tribe trying to try to take control take command of the cafeteria the food dispensary that i would know to fear or admire uh there's not like a singular uh cafeteria so if you um with the map that we've crafted uh mainly eric has crafted you can see that there's like uh sections of warehouse and sections of uh sections of like shopping area, like showroom area that you can like come upon. And mm -hmm. these areas, while not in observation of a lot of the different tribes, tends to change. There's not like a specific, like large region that is just cafeteria type stuff. You can just occasionally come across an area that has like a row of vending machines or, uh, a like cafe thing will pop up where a furniture set used to be the day before gotcha all right so then back into sherm then uh your question then 
Um, so Cletus asks, uh, where can I find these? Stanley replies kind of, um, I could maybe, like, point them out, but I, I, I couldn't, like, we don't know. Every every time it was somewhere different, maybe a, a few at a time. It was really more of a a, a treat than a than a, a regular uh, thing in the Canopy Tribe. Cletus is going to stare for a moment with a cocked eyebrow, glower, inhale, exhale, and kind of and walk away. But Sherman appreciates the in-depth effort you went to for Cletus's goal here. <laughs> I really appreciate the thought you put into it. Sure. The way I see it, uh, if such is the case, Swedish meatballs of Ikea are probably the equivalent of getting a birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did someone say yeah, cake? That's probably not far off. It, it is rare and is a special occasion. Delicacy. Yes, that's the word I should have said all along. <laughs> I want to attempt to smell. So, I want to attempt to smell. Yeah, I, I think you don't even need to roll for it. Um, you, you are able to smell. Um, you can center in on... You can, like, get hints of, uh, like, intermittently spread out uh parts of like there might be a meatball in this direction might be in one in there but you get a overwhelmingly strong scent that is coming uh directly east of you that is like uh, overwhelms your nose like there's a bunch of meatballs centered in one spot that is in the general eastern direction big inhale incoming Stanley, help me pentan pentagramulate what is in that direction. <laughs> uh, it looks like shelves. Stanley will help to the best of his ability. Uh, so, like, you can look at the map that uh, the Shrieking Bandits have set up. Uh -huh. You know that the tribe that's in that direction uh, is Kitchen Accessoria, but they are like a massive tribe that usually is more noble than that from what you've experienced. Okay. Uh, they probably wouldn't have decided to just hoard a bunch of stuff to themselves. Okay. Um, hmm. And uh, Karen, if she chimes in, also spent some time with them, and she never saw any sort of hoarding like that either. So um, I think that the Shrieking Bandits... Uh, agreed with uh, your instruction to go to the different uh, tribes that they are able to. Um, they would send a messenger up into the rafters to get the rafter rats. They would send uh, some of their fastest vehicles, uh, one of which has been vaporized <laughs> by a certain foundation weapon. Uh, the remaining ones, at least, uh, they would send off to some of the... Uh, far reaches of the land of checkouts, returns, and exchanges, um, the outdoor section. I think that the pillow pilferer, pilferer is actually probably just, like, followed you here because they are now, like, your loyal servants. <laughs> um, Africa Clapa is doing and... squats, preparing for the journey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he had to, pel they had to send him pedaling off into the, the like, the furthest away place because he's the only one who could, like, get there and back in time. Oh, no. Hate to see him go, but love to watch him leave. <sighs> I yep. didn't get to say goodbye. <laughs> they say if you listen closely, you can still hear oh, him God, from okay. here. Uh, you'll you'll see him at summer sales. He'll he'll show up. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> so they are off uh, collecting everyone and telling all the different tribes uh, that there is going to be a supplementary summer sale, semi seasonal, super special summit, and uh, they are all going to have to go there. Um, I think they probably sent a messenger off to summer sale to let them know that there is a crisis going on. So um, in about a day's time, there will be, uh, you'll have to leave to head off towards summer sale and uh, go to this supplementary summit. If there's anything you want to do in the meantime, uh, Martha's continuing to work on the drone. Um, Cletus is staring longingly off into the distance. 
Um, we could sort of just say that like you take a minute to relax here after uh, succeeding in the most intense race of your lives. I meant to ask this earlier. Did we recover any of our harm from earlier scenes, such as the session zero, or are those boxes still ticked? So uh, since you got to like rest overnight, I think that you would have had time to, uh, in your case, maybe literally lick your wounds um, in order to <laughs> heal. So I think, yeah, go ahead and recover that. Seems now. legit. And <laughs> I would like the car people to help me fix my Honda Odyssey. Yeah, is you in you're in an area that's like filled with people who have uh I, I think the merchandise that used to be here that they've cleared out or is sort of surrounding it is like automotive or like the household type items. So they're decently familiar with like how they could help you fix it. So they uh help you with some patchwork. Mm -hmm. The guy who like duct tape together some toasters offers to help but like everyone's like no no man just <laughs> sit, sit this way oh, no thanks is, we're we're set it's fracta around sure hey 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 i got i got some uh, hey cletus what's up i wanted to ask you about some of these uh tribes that are around the town uh sure so i'm looking at this here map and so if y'all are the Shrieking Bandits, and we got the uh, Pillow Pilfers over there, and our singular Canopy Tribe, -y, then uh, I got some questions. Uh, so what can you tell me about our three other marked sections here? The uh, Summer Sales, the Tabaxi Warriors, and the Kitchen Accessory. Well, uh, we try to stay away from Summer Sale, because they're more of a neutral crown usually um define neutral for a second then... hold on define neutral <laughs> uh well the summits are held there so a, a lot of us have just agreed like let's not bust up the one place that we can like semi-seasonally enjoy a, a, a day off from being assholes to each other <laughs> so they're the beach party episode of this series i get it yes exactly <laughs> And then uh, the Tabaxi Warriors, they just make everything out of boxes. Like, they have a, a really big box for it. You may even be able to see it if, like, you get up high enough and look, like, in their direction. Um, and then Kitchen Accessoria, they are, like, really big. Like, we usually try to stay away from them as best as we can, just because um, <gasps> it's best not to get on their bad side. So... A lot of it times really we, isn't. It, yeah. We would head towards like Canopy Tribe and Pillow Pilferers to like bug them a bunch or maybe the outdoor section a bit more. All right. So we're working on this whole thing. It's a prophecy, something like that. Unite the tribe. But what I'm curious about here is uh, do these different tribes have leaders? Um, some of them do. I think the Tabaxi ones maybe have like a box king type thing of some sort. And then, um, I think the kitchen ones, they seem to be pretty communist. So uh, they're not like pretty, like a kingly leader. It's just, it's like a, a group type thing. And the summer sales? Oh, they just sort of like smoke eat all day and sit in the pools what? so i don't think they Where the care hell do they get the wheat what uh, i don't know it's really good though from what i've been told i haven't tried it i'm 14 good for you no yeah that's uh good. we are being such a bad influence on this kid Speak for yourself. I am the perfect mother. I'm a part of a group that's just like bandits that like regularly raids people. So you don't have to worry about like being too morally correct. Yeah, I think that that train is long past. Just, listen, you're still you, you're you're a baby. I'm sorry. Look, all I'm seeing is that we're if I'm guessing this correctly, I am a predilecting our futures here. I seem to see that summer sales may be a, uh, well, if we had to unite them, they're probably not going to fight very hard against that, because they don't pretty fight a hard lot of things. Now, if we're talking about the Taboxies, I, I sense in our future 
some form of trial by combat rather than trial by race car. If I were to be a guessin'. And then these kitchen accessorias, they're big. Yeah, I don't know what their deal is. <laughs> Organization. I don't know that the tabaxi ones get into conflict too much. Uh, I would be more worried about some of the outdoor section ones. There, um, there's there's a grill tribe. They do some pretty s sketchy business, but uh, how many tribes are there? Um, I mean, according to this one guy who came by one time with a bunch of different like sketches of like uh, the different people of tribes, like there's quite a few. I mean, I haven't seen all of them personally, but. Uh, but, but, I'm, Cletus looks around, looks for his compatriots, the most capable compatriots of the troop, which is our party, and at least thinks to himself, man, this prophecy is malarkey, there's too much to do here, let's get the meatballs and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, the only person so far I trust to have a way out of here is Martha. And so that is where I am going to traipse <laughs> and start to hold a conversation that didn't work well last time, but I'm going to try again. I th I'm sharpening my harpoon. <laughs> I do think you are. And, well, no, that's me breaking the fourth wall. I'm just like, you overestimate the knowledge I hold, sir. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Them SCPs, <laughs> them SCPs are smart, and I don't know any better, so I'm traipsing right up to you, and I guess you're, like, fixing a droid or something. Yep. <laughs> help me, help me, Martha Con SCP, you're my only hope. It, oh, what? Are you, are you quoting Star Wars at me right now? Wait. Hey, yeah, you get it. Obi, ooby doo booby doo doo scooby doo dooby You got it. You understand. Now, how the hell did we get out of here? I, listen, I got in. I hadn't uh, really put together how I was going to get out yet. Why did you come here? I've been, oh my god, oh my god, all right. Because I came what? in here with an idea of what I wanted to do, and I didn't plan my way out, but I thought you were smarter than I was. I mean... The prophecy says you will get what you all desire. Right. Okay, no, none of the pillow talk. I said no. No, none of this prophecy shit. Okay. <laughs> the pillows Listen. always come when it's least expected. You should see a doctor about that. Yeah, if I may ask, where did you get this prophecy exactly? We found it on a pillow, of course. Oh my god. Of course they did. All right. And we're certain that somebody didn't just <laughs> write it? It could be those canopy assholes. We were very Don't pin this on my tribe. It had to have been. <laughs> oh, sorry. We... Sorry for questioning you, saviors. Sorry for questioning you, saviors. Look, th there's, there are right. many, there are many, many tribes. I've heard. I, I thought we were uniting like three or four tribes at best, but apparently there's a whole lot of tribes, and I'm starting to think this prophecy is a bupkis. Well, it kind of could be like a snowball effect. I mean, you managed to get us on our side, on your side, after. We were like sworn enemies with the canopy, so don't underestimate yourselves. Once we kind of get like a few tribes together, <laughs> well, that's not then a they prophecy. Just... That's just the power of friendship. <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get like a few tribes together, it kind of is like you better join, or like half the people are against you. So it it should work out pretty quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Seventeen tribes plus more. Shh, I'm, I, don't I'm worry, Cletus, don't worry about it. Cletus is gonna go <laughs> pout in the corner for a while because okay. this is malarkey. Seventeen I, plus. <laughs> I don't know why he's pouting. I like. Did any of you buy into the prophecy from the start? Because I didn't. Like. <laughs> I absolutely did not. But you know what? If it helps me find the manager, I will. I will do what I have to. Yeah. I know the pillows are typically full of feathers, but these ones are full of shit, typically. <laughs> That's a good one. That's that good checks one. out. What's the... Thank you. Okay, hold on. So, let me get this straight. By the way, Stanley, you... You... The, your tribe is extinct or something? You're just wandering now? Yeah, they kind of, like, 
followed an outsider, and now they're all gone. Ah. Yelling from the shelf that I'm pouting by. Okay, 16 plus tribes. So much better. When when you say that they followed someone, does that possibly mean that they followed somebody out? They were trying to follow one of our our new warriors named Thorn to the land beyond the parking lot, which we all knew is impossible to go to and survive, and they all vanished. So I guess they either all died or somehow did the impossible, and I don't think the impossible is possible. Thorn killed a lot of us. We were sort of hoping he would be the one in the prophecy because he was a badass. Mm. Thanks, that's exactly what my my confidence needs to hear right now. Thank you. Man. I apologize, Savior. I was simply being honest. I missed a lot on my day well, off. Well, uh, he's not here, and we are here, so you're going to have to settle. Sorry if we're not badass enough for you. Stanley, you are badass enough for us. Thorn would have taken you to ruin anyway. We blindly believe you. <laughs> Excellent. All right, listen, okay. The best followers are blind See, followers. Isn't it so nice? Isn't it so nice when people listen for once? Uh, yeah, I. All right, listen. <laughs> Martha's lowering her voice so that only our party hears, which is really just like you know, Karen and Stanley immediately next to her, but she knows that the clown is somehow listening from where he's pouting, like <laughs> a million feet away. So, um, he like cups ear, his it, ear. Sta- and Stanley. Lines. Yeah. Stanley looks to yeah. the uh, <laughs> Stanley looks to the the pillow tribe and kind of does like a covering your ears thing so the pillow tribe sticks some cotton in there. Yeah. We just look over we see a a tin can on the end of a string suddenly sitting next to us and <laughs> and, and Cletus listening in the other end. Yeah. All right, listen. Okay. As we discussed before, uh-huh. I'm with the foundation. But even though I don't necessarily have a plan Super concrete for getting out. There was somebody that got chased out by some of the employees before I entered. So there's absolutely a way to get out. It is possible. The thing is, some of the new employees look uh, weird. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm here to figure out. And to be honest, I've been stuck as a desk jockey for so many years. I'm done. I'm done with it. I needed, I needed this getaway. All right. I needed this. You should try being a stay-at-home mother. I'd rather not. Thanks, though. Oh, yeah. It's, mu- it's much worse. I'm not, I mean, if it turns you into... Hold no. on a second. Bah, bah, bah. Cletus, you all look at him because he yells like an idiot. <laughs> and then his face disappears into the can that he's holding his hand, and it pops out <laughs> of the can that he left next to you. What do you mean the employees look weird? <sighs> it, DM, just to make sure I'm not misremembering the details, like, they they had, it almost looked like a, additions of, like, foundation tech integrated into them? Yes. Okay. So the one that you specifically that like keyed you into the fact that he was wearing foundation tech of some sort, he was wearing like a uh, bulletproof vest and what had been done to modify them was like you could see wiring that had been like run into their brains, uh, like uh, electrical enhancements. Their arms were affixed with blades uh, instead of like the normal just sort of grotesque looking hands right okay yeah so like slender man's a praying mantis now basically jesus did Uh, you do that uh, no of course not did your weirdo scp people do that i don't i don't know i mean that's is it above your clearance level don't even get me fucking started on clearance level okay are are you with the government Oh, God, wait, do I have to? Oh, God, I don't want to have to explain this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you know what? That's close enough. Yes. That's wonderful. Before you even fucking say. You might be able to get me in touch with someone higher up once we get out of here, because I have a bone to pick. You know what? I couldn't tell. 
Actually, okay, you know what? <laughs> as far as my managers are concerned, I would absolutely love to introduce you to them. <laughs> Unleash do you, her. Do, do you want? Do you want to bring your harpoon gun? Actually, when I think about it, do, we'll we'll put a pin in this until we uh, get out. But yes. O five council, meet your map. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Karen is the new O five one, Colin. She busts into the o- O5 meeting, followed by like a, a receptionist. Like, I- I'm sorry, sorry, I tried to stop her. I, cu- I couldn't. <laughs> but I didn't let her. Harp- harpoon gun in hand. <laughs> Karen is the entire O5 now. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> like, I don't think she can handle the anonymity. <laughs> she- okay. She could take um, her to fight, though. <laughs> so do you have anything else you wanted to do while you're sort of hanging out here before uh, just like we can speed forward the um, rest of the day, like you take a rest and then go to um, the summit, if that's good with you? I would like to make a note that uh, Stanley is trying to procure supplies. If they have any additional Stanley blades amongst the uh, the Shrieker, which, Shrieker bandits um, to make more Stanley spears. Sure, yeah. You can, uh, as well as fashioning uh, Martha's throwing knife into another spear. Hell yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, I think Martha's just going to be passively tinkering with the drone and stuff. But yeah, she just she shared some of the intel because she doesn't give a shit about whatever this prophecy is. But now that we are evidently going around and potentially getting into a position of influence and information, she's like, all right. I'll, I'll I'll divulge a bit so that she can hopefully have more eyes out for the things that she's looking for. And also so we don't yeah. die from the weird praying mantis employee variants. <laughs> <laughs> I... Cletus yeah. is hovering in an invisible hammock singing circus afro. <laughs> God damn it. Perfect. This is when I finally got that out of my head after all these years. <laughs> like just yesterday. Okay. Um, yeah, so at that point, then uh, we can jump cut to the next day. Uh, all of the bandits have uh, packed up into several different uh, caravans. Um, the the toaster guy tries had tried to like strap together his toasters again during the, the previous day, and it just sort of was you pass by on your way to the car and just see he's just like dejected staring at it falling apart again. <laughs> and like uh, <laughs> like a buddy brings him over to one of the bed frame cars and just sits him in there like, oh, come on, man. It's, it's okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll get better. At how's, how's the, the dog sled? Uh, all of the dogs look very happy. They are all good boys and girls. Oh, God. You good. Ooh. Sorry, Nothing. toaster guy. Sorry, toaster guy. It doesn't look like I'm doing all right attached to that car. Just kicks a toaster. <laughs> Why would you kick me? <laughs> <laughs> what a what? Okay, um, what a brave little then, toaster guy. So you all uh, start driving off uh, in, in this caravan toward Summer Sail. As you do, um, you eventually like are, are sort of walking alongside the kitchen accessoria tribe which is uh, also marching uh, in this direction because they have to go the same way as you uh, to get over to there and uh, you notice that they look a bit uh, battle worn um, a bunch of them are wearing uh, different armored appliances so like a mini fridge has been carved out in order to be like strapped uh, to their chest to cover them that way um, or like the paneling of a fridge has been taken off to be used as a shield, that kind of thing. They look like it's been sort of scraped up and like they have been in some sort of conflict quite recently. You can engage with them here or wait until you get to the summit to try to figure out what's going on with them. I want Martha, while you're on the way to the summer summit here go ahead and roll to invest um let's read a bad situation actually oh that's a five okay um can i help at all yes uh well cletus can help because cletus can add two i'm going to uh 
What what would I roll to help with this one? Can I roll to have so, a weird ass awkward telescope made of mishmash so I can roll weird out of it? Sure. I'm I'm thinking that like um your goal here while you're continuing along is to sort of survey the surrounding area and make sure that there's nothing too sketchy going mm. on. So I think that, yeah, if you craft a telescope or something else like that, mm. yeah, you can justify that with weird. I've got a seven to hand over a scrap telescope and be like, here, take a look at what's going on. <laughs> okay. On a mixed success you get to ask one question then uh of the questions uh what's my best way in best way out are there any dangers we haven't noticed what's the biggest threat to me what's most vulnerable to me what's the best way to protect the victims um so the most relevant ones would probably be like biggest threat and dangers we haven't noticed. yeah can we just go with uh or did you say i had to pick between the two or Oh no! If you can do a different one, I, uh, I, I'm here. I can post those questions. I'm just saying, yeah, like whichever uh, the the danger or whatever the greatest danger is, uh, yeah. It's either dangers we haven't noticed, or biggest threat, or the most important. Uh, yeah. So the middle two of those six would probably be the most relevant. I don't know. I, worse. We're smart. I think we can probably deduce what is a very big danger. Let's just make sure we know all of the ones that are there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, as you are continuing along, you crack out this telescope. Um, you, it's sort of difficult to survey the area around you whilst traveling through the infinite Ikea, just because it's like rows upon rows of very tall uh, shelving areas but uh, you're able to briefly catch a glimpse of some movement uh, like heading in the general direction of um, the summer summit there is a pretty quickly moving humanoid you're not able to see what they are but you briefly catch a pretty bright glint off of something that they are holding and you briefly remember the modified ikea employees you found that had uh the bladed arms. oh god we got more edward scissor hands okay uh you also realize that you do 100 percent have a black circle around your eye right now <laughs> god oh, damn god. it <laughs> wait would i th i have gla i wear glasses so <laughs> <laughs> is it on my glasses? Your black circle on your glasses. Their prescription, uh, it's a prescription telescope. Oh, so I get it. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Okay. Or it yeah. anomalously, um, I can say the word, anomalously project said black eye behind my glasses <laughs> just to make sure. I, I cannot tell you how many times I've screwed up saying anomalously because it's so easy to get like on the fly mixed up with yeah yeah and just like i could say that it. whole <laughs> anomalously the whole tongue twister garbage string of s words no problem but i can't yeah. say anomaly it's a struggle yeah uh okay oh that's that one french movie right <laughs> amelie okay yeah no i'm not gonna <laughs> amelie. Amelie. amelie all right before this devolves okay. into my brother, my brother and me references. Uh, yeah, I, I <laughs> smack Cletus for giving me the black eye thing because it's a funny <laughs> prank. But damn it. Uh, and then uh, I think I uh, see some of those the uh, the employees two point whatever. What do we want to call those? I sharp squishies. Shark. shark squishies. Ikea shark. <laughs> what is the name of the Ikea shark again? Like the Swedish name for it. I have no idea. Eric, find I out literally, right in the chat. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I have it. I have one. Ikea shark. Do, 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 do. Ikea shark. Do, 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 do. Ow. Uh, God damn it. It doesn't say on the tag. Blaha. <laughs> Amali? Blaha. Yes. <laughs> That's what it is? According to Eric, it's uh, bla Blaha. 
So, uh, yeah. <laughs> if that's what is being spouted off. It's kind of hard to roll it off the tongue, but like, you know, blah -ha. I, I guess it's a, it's kind of a good sound, though, if you get caught off guard, if you surprise like a blah -ha -ha. Like, it, it sounds close enough, right? Karen, don't look at me like that. And she does it so well. <laughs> okay. So is there any, like, significant thing you want to do other than, uh, like, you saw that they were pretty off, far off in the distance? Like, I think you would have seen their, like, a uh, mile off, you briefly caught them, like, in at, at the moment you're passing, like, exactly between a row where you could see far down it. Uh, sorry, can, sorry, repeat that? I, I did. Yeah, are you, are you doing anything with that? Like the fact that you saw movement way off in the distance, or do we want to just move well, to? Uh... I just don't know what other, what else we. I don't know, like change our route or just yeah. keep going. That's but uh, just seeing it in the distance, I'm just not sure what else to do. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Apparently, um, I horribly so mispronounced they're... the shark. That's fine. I. Uh, <laughs> So there is a potential looming threat upon you. But you have reached the uh, wonderful world of summer sails. So as you get here, you see uh, rows upon rows of uh, different pools, like mini pools that have been set up of different sizes, uh, as well as uh, like fake palm trees and like a, a bit of fake sand <laughs> here and there. Um, and there's a bunch of people who are like wearing uh, sun hats and uh, swim shorts and bikinis. Uh, they're just all having a good time relaxing. Uh, there's a few different um, people who have come from different tribes that are either arriving at the same time as you or have already arrived. Uh, the Tabaxi warriors are here. Um, they are staying farther away from the pools because they don't want to get the boxes <laughs> wet because that's oh like their one weakness uh the kitchen accessoria tribe has arrived sort of along with you um there's a few outdoor section tribes that have arrived around the same time uh you see like the angler wranglers uh from the fishing section you see um the manscapers <laughs> who are uh near nudist type folk that wear like leaf fronds art mm -hmm. um and then you also see uh some people from the checkouts and returns and exchange type region uh and most notably you see uh the iron guild uh stanley you would have only heard about these uh tribes people in legends but they've been described to you so you know of them at least they're an incredibly secretive uh, group that is known to uh, only rarely in times of very dire situations appear from the laundry fog that uh, lies near the outdoor section. Guys, 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 guys don't, 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 okay, suddenly, suddenly, look right there. Um, you know exactly no, no. why I Looney Tunes my entire head that direction now. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Stanley tries to catch him. <laughs> Go ahead, grab his neck like Roger Rabbit. Do it. Reel him back. <laughs> Try to turn, and then like an owl, you just <laughs> keep spinning your head. <laughs> Those are the Iron Guild. They're like the badasses of here. Uh, all right. They're just like the best warriors in IKEA. Can they get us out of Ikea? Well, no, but until... Then they really can't be that badass, until... can they? Well, until, like, yesterday, I thought that was impossible, so they can do everything but. Listen, you keep saying the badasses and butts and stuff, and I just noticed that Ask a Clap was back over there, and I got really distracted. What was the question again? If we can, like, get them on our side, it, okay. I don't Excuse see why anyone okay. All right, yeah, us. let's go over there. No! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, marching <laughs> over to those guys. Stanley is doing everything to make himself <laughs> try to look as cool as possible. For the prophecy! <laughs> Hi. What, what, what'd you say? You just peeked out again. For the prophecy! <laughs> Martha will back up Karen looking just kind of imposing and have her axe on her shoulder behind Karen. Uh. At no other point in this game did I feel more like a uh, fucking spider pig. 
Um, My hand is wet. It's not what you think. <laughs> uh, who is who in this group looks like the most important one? Uh, so there's only like two of these people uh, that are there. They they look nearly identical. Um, what they look like is just sort of like a tall, white robed individual, and they have uh, literally like a, an ironing iron that you use for like clothes. The plate of that is the plate of their uh, face <laughs> helm. So you can't see anything. They are very mysterious. Stanley cool. I walk right up to them and I say, trying to silently fanboy. Hi, my name's Karen. Very nice to meet you. Have you heard anything about some kind of prophecy? From the Pella tribe. We will await the summit. You're not really being very helpful right now. We're trying to see what we can do about getting all of us out of here. If you have any information that you could give us, that would be so helpful. You'll get information at the summit. So you don't have any either, is what you're saying. You could have just started with that. That's fine. We're not going to judge you for it. I mean, it's okay if you don't know they, anything. They do not respond. <laughs> Okay, we should we should probably stop bothering them. Uh, big fan. <laughs> All right, we'll see about that. Thank <laughs> thank you for your help. And I turn around. And <laughs> so there is a a like really chill looking dude who's got like on a, a sombrero and has like a martini in his hand, and he's just not even wearing a shirt, like. He probably had a Hawaiian shirt on at some point, but it's long gone. He's wearing sunglasses and he's got like sunscreen over his nose mm. and he just like starts like slapping a half of a coconut on like a table. He's like, hey, bros, we got to have this summit that like the bandits <laughs> wanted to have. So this is the supplementary summer sale semi-seasonal super special summit uh, guys i know i'm the clown here but this guy's wearing sunscreen and there's no sun am i really the clown here the lights are like two percent brighter here in summer sale it's to imitate the feel of summer but yeah, we're having the summit now, so only reason I was chill with this is because Askaclapa <laughs> came, and no one can say no to him. Goddamn right. Uh, I mean, but, that's obvious. So, like, there's some new people who, like, convinced the bandits and those pillow dudes to chill, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I hear that the kitchen people, they, like, have been routed from their whole place, and that's because of some weird IKEA employees oh, that, like, got weird ar arms with swords. I feel right? like you're telling me that the communists got... Attacked by the Beyblades? Yes, we were routed from our home. By they, the Beyblades! They brought parts of the employees and stored them we, where we could not find them. And then they destroyed much of our supplies. With they the Beyblades! somehow did this during the day. With the Beyblades! Yes, with the Beyblades. Yeah, so that's, like, not cool, and any info would be cool. Do the the uh, Iron Guild have anything to say? Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, I love Karen. I love Karen so much, guys. <laughs> and then she turns, around, she turns around to the Iron Guild and says, go ahead. We do have information. <laughs> we desire a treaty before we reveal what we know. Sounds great. Who's on board? 
we actually also wanted the treaty, so like it's like we're on the same wavelength. We're thinking the same. Treaty sounds great. Does anyone not want a treaty? Uh, Ask a clapper just flexes. Oh, that's in, a treat right there. Uh, agreement. Sherman. Sherman is suspicious, but Cletus is zero sharp. Oh, and oh my is gosh. not suspicious wait, at wait, all. Wait, wait, I have a, I have a thing. Um, I know if people are lying to me. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Ooh. That is. Yes. Thank God. It's a move. It, when, it doesn't require a role. It just says, I just know. Mm-hmm. When they say that they want a treaty, that is not a lie. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, and also that Aska, Aska Klappa is flexing in truth. Uh, Aska Klappa, it, that, like, if you get, like, a shiver or something from knowing if someone is telling the truth, you get, like, the most reassuring shiver ever. Oh, that is God, like he's the, the only truth, truth I need. I think her like hair like <laughs> blows back a little bit from like the, <laughs> the <laughs> blast from his he the is ass on blast, tonight. if you will. <laughs> he is on tonight. You know those cheeks don't lie. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm this is important. <laughs> is he also in his <laughs> beach episode attire? <laughs> he. Oh God! So he's got oh, a speedo. No. <laughs> Perfect. And it's. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm, that, I'll be that in my is bunk. Barely being held. Martha together. has not been paying <laughs> oh. attention to fucking anything oh that's my. been said. She has been staring <laughs> at him this whole time. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Uh, sorry, she's not gonna be helpful in this. Uh, Do we all have like flowery lays? <laughs> yes. You you were uh, like the people who welcomed you into the uh, tribe here. Mandatory requested <laughs> that you wear them while you were here. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, I think pretty much everyone here uh, agrees. They see that uh, if anyone has been able to uh, single-handedly route the Kitchen Accessoria tribe from their home, them having been the largest and probably most formidable, um, they're pretty quick to join in and any others that were sort of nervous about it um are pretty reassured at the fact that like you all managed to like tame the bandits that like regularly pillage and go around everywhere to uh torment other tribes in the area uh, as well as the pillow pilferers which on the some level do the same but not uh, quite to the level of the bandits all right, so, all right, all right, sure. Wait, 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 wait. The clown, uh-huh. the clown needs to chime in. Okay. Because the clown doesn't trust humdrums easily. And sure. it's trusting Karen because there's a car that's not a clown car, but it's good enough for what we got. And SCB over here, I trust you because <laughs> I don't trust you, but you probably have a way out and you haven't told me yet. But these Iron Face people, they literally said, we'll give you our information if you offer us something. And I'm like, I don't like that. And so in the midst of causing a diplomatic incident, I want to roll manipulate someone and be like, wait a minute, if you're such a badass. And sorry, I've turned from Cletus to literally Spider Pig, <laughs> but that's where I am at this point tonight. John Mulaney. <laughs> Wait a minute, I was sitting on the bench. I want to ask, what's so important that y'all need to sign on with us before you tell us? That seems like some shady cow pile. And I'd like to grill them before their iron <laughs> presses and grills us. Hey. Okay. Don't mind. Don't 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 mind him too much. He's new in town. Uh, you can still roll. We'll we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do when I roll a fucking hell. I rolled an eleven <laughs> with my plus two to charm. I'm a thirteen to be like, why are you? Damn. Why are you signing up? Why do you need a condition before signing up with us? Why don't you tell us what you got first? Before you try and join our merry band of prophecy. We know the location of the interloper. The what? And we know his movements. 
that, though. We may divulge this information to you once a treaty is signed, but we have the same goal. I, I lean over to my group, who is probably at my right shoulder at this point. Uh, does that check out with y'all? Because, uh, interloper, is that what, do you know what that is? It's a fancy word for one who, um... Interlopes. We don't have many di dictionaries in the laundry section. Yes, interlopes. DM, would I know what they're talking about? They might be talking about someone who might have been behind. Praying Martha mantis. would know some of the sketchy stuff. Sorry, what you said something about checking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm checking out. What? I'll rephrase my question. Are they talking about Thorn or someone totally unrelated? Uh, you could jump to the conclusion that they're talking about. Thorn, <laughs> oh but they're no! Probably talking about someone else. <laughs> oh, okay. This... Okay. So, uh, pretty much all the tribes have agreed to uh, sign to this treaty of. Uh, we agree to uh, face this threat together. What happens after that uh, isn't neither here nor there, but uh, we agree to this treaty. That's the, the summary of uh, what everyone is signing here. Do you have any objections to this? How many tribes are here? How many tribes? Is it 16 um, plus? I mean, there might be a few who didn't come, but I, I would say this fits the definition of uh, Prophecy. the tribes. That's all I needed to know. Congratulations, you have solved my uniting the tribes puzzle. <laughs> ah. Martha is still staring. Okay. Um, so I just want to let you know. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the staring update. <laughs> and the um, thunder rolls. <laughs> and the ass cheeks clap. Oh god. <laughs> so, um, signed it. The Iron Guild inform you that they are aware of someone who has been modifying uh, the IKEA employees and uh, adding like blades and other modifications in order for them to be able to move around during the daytime. So they also give you the warning that we may not be safe even now. Um, they tell you the uh, general area that they know uh, he can be found in. Uh, to their knowledge, he is within a uh, showroom section, which would be like the main area of an IKEA store where they have like model uh, kitchens and model like living rooms and stuff. He is encamped within one of those, and uh, they were able to find this information by uh, discreetly following uh, drones and uh, some of the other employees to sort of narrow down where he's at but they did not dare to enter this spot uh, on their own as uh, it would be very dangerous and unwise to do so. Uh, when they sort of, they like spread out a map on the table and point to where it's at. Cletus, you uh, remember when you were sniffing to try to find out uh, where the closest meatballs were. It was east of the bandit camp, uh, sort of towards the direction of kitchen accessoria. The uh, section of store that they uh, point out to you is also east of the bandit camp. Do they? So they're pointing out a section on the map. It's mm -hmm. east of the bandit camp. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the bandit map now. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at dots from the bandit camp to the east. Is it the dot below pillow pilfers? Is it the dot in kitchen accessoria? Is it the dot beyond the dot beyond? So the dots are the support pillars. All right. Um, the sections that are like showroom are the like more mazy looking parts. Correct. And the shelves are the uh, longer lines. So the mazy area, the showroom that is um, sort of below and to the left of kitchen accessoria or like down and to the right of the Shrieking Bandit camp. Yep. Uh, that is where... Uh, it has been pointed out that they suspect the uh, interloper is located. I'm just going to poke the bear. <clears throat> I'm just going to poke the bear that is Karen when I point at this map, knowing that's where the meatballs may or may not be. And I'm going to say, hey, 
if it can control the, and modify the employees, I'm a just guessing that it's the manager. Then let's go kill it, obviously. <laughs> obviously! Isn't that what we were doing? And now we have we a one- don't have too much information to help you out with the layout of this as it seems to change often. But it does seem to be more living room type products, uh, including rugs. New layer, don't care. Kill the manager, get the meatballs! Yeah. And I need a few of those said. rugs. That's why I came here in the first oh place. Oh my god. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. How long have you been in here? Like five months. I guess we get I guess we gotta get you a really damn good rug, huh? Well, I would hope to get the ones that I ordered online. Because I already paid for them. That's gonna be a... Yeah, let's just go. And I'm tired of things standing between me and my products that I paid for already. So I'm going to kill the manager. Well, we're, well wherever the Karen Caravan goes, <laughs> I follow. That is that a squad name? <laughs> the, the Karen Van. It uh, should be. I guess it is now. <laughs> Hi! Because yeah, they're in a van! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no, it no. good. As a as a theater smart boy thinking I've had ideas, you're either at a scene transition point now, or you just find the scene transition at the next point it happens. Whether you go long way or short way doesn't matter because we'll find a cutting point. Okay. Um I think what happens now in the distance you hear some rumbling uh you all tor turn towards the south which uh would have been the direction you briefly saw a figure moving quickly in the distance martha would have seen um you look in that direction and you see that a few of the shelves that are sort of at the edge of the summer summit area have been knocked over. Uh, you see as the dust and rubble begins to settle around them that a handful of these IKEA employees um, have now like scampered on top of the fallen structure and they now uh, face you all down and uh, behind them a rather large one begins to loom ah. on the horizon you can't see just how big yet but that bigger than a lot of the other ones wow. you've seen oh jeez. <laughs> uh at this point you're gonna need a bigger van <laughs> at this point uh aska clappa steps forward and turns to you all in the most heroic voice he can say <laughs> you all head to the the other guy, the interloper, and I'll face these guys on. Oh, no. God fucking damn it. I knew you were going to do God that. God damn it. How dare you? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give him a it's cool funny. voice. It's... <laughs> no, it's perfect. Okay. That's exactly yeah, it's what he needs happened. to be. Okay, I still love you. I mean, what? I'm not, I didn't say anything. Was, was that out loud? Was that out loud? Shh, don't say anything. <laughs> go. Just go. Fast. Yeah, you've said a lot of very weird things. Out the loud. tribes people will face these employees. You all go and stop the big guy. Or not the the big guy, the 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 guy who's hiding. The interloper. Fly, take the Odyssey, take your Argo. All right. Everybody pile in. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelts. Also, we need to get the Wait, booster seat. Is the Odyssey off. the Argo? Or... The what? Is the Odyssey the Argo? Or do we need to find the Argo? It's a it's a metaphorical Argo. Oh. <laughs> Stanley, will you get the booster seat off the roof? So you all have your route. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can. I can. Okay, <laughs> buckle up, everybody. <laughs> San Stanley gets in his seat and then like puts the the kitty seat on his lap, like holds it. <laughs> Are you buckled? <laughs> yes, now I am. Thank you. We drive in. So you all uh, floor it and head off in the direction that you've been shown uh, on the map that the, this interloper, as he's been called, can be found. Uh, as you look in the rearview mirror, you see Aska Clappa mount 
his big wheel and <laughs> begin furiously pedaling off into the horizon, uh, joined by many other many other tribes people who begin uh, <laughs> defending the summer summit. You all arrive at the entrance of uh, the section that has been pointed out to you, uh, the showroom section that contains uh, many living room settings. As you uh, step into here, you see that, uh, as you expect, there's some uh, couches and carpeting and a few side tables and lamps and such that have been set up in a very pleasant way. Uh, you see lots of different names, uh, all Swedish. <laughs> if any of you were able to read Swedish, you could figure out what they're called. But uh, you head through here um, at this point um, without even trying to smell and find uh, the meatballs that you search for, Cletus. You are overwhelmed with the scent of meatballs. And everyone else here uh, can sort of <laughs> vaguely get the scent of umami as well. Uh, and you're almost all able to follow your own noses to try to find this individual and find the meatballs. All right. Is, is the meatballs in the path of the interloper? Yes or no? Do we know? You don't know. You have just arrived in the spot and you're following your nose. You may find out briefly. Okay. Uh, I'm making a bad party member role. If my party member might flee to meatballs, I'm going to... Just just run ahead of everyone else? Yes, that is, that is the thing my character would do. As a fellow DM, I'm asking, are you prepared for me to make a dumbass move? Yeah, go for it. All right, I'm not even going to roll then. Cletus is going to jump out the window because... The meatballs oh, are... Oh, no, you, uh, sorry, I should have clarified. Uh, the entrance to the showroom area, um, th there's not, like, enough room to walk or uh, to drive through here, so you would have to get out and walk through this section. We've all... We, if we've all gotten out of the car, he's going to say, Yeehaw, I found the meatballs, uh, and run forward <laughs> like an idiot. Can I grab him uh, before you he all gets can, too far? Sure, you all can grab uh, whatever you want from the... Uh, honda odyssey and uh try to bring your resources with you i think just as you were arriving martha you finally fixed the drone uh it's fully yours you can do anything with it that you want okay. but uh your companion has just um, dashed into here well oh wait the one i have is like kind of smaller right so could i at the very least like sling it on my back if we're like I think I said it was a, a quadcopter, um, okay. a smaller one, but you can like sing it. Oh, back. okay. Sure. Or, um, I, I mean, it can fly now. You can have it fly with you. Sure, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. uh, low it's to the ground, though, so it doesn't get like shot by somebody. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anything else you want to grab from oh. the Honda Odyssey briefly before you like sprint into I'll here? I'll turn that big ass chain thing that we stole from the other uh, during the race that was like harpooned into our car. Uh, I'm getting the gun. That was that was pretty massive. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you'd be able to grab that. Maybe maybe able to grab like a a chain or something. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Just like a like a sturdy chain. Okay. It'll just be, you know, strapped across my body, and then I've got like the mm -hmm. usual stuff. Yeah, I'm carrying the vaporizer. Okay. Um, and Kyle, would uh, Stanley grab anything else, or are you just uh, following along too? Uh, so Stanley is going to turn to Karen and go, is is the Odyssey going to be okay here? Uh, yes, it will. It has protections. Okay. Um, is there anything that I can, that you want me to bring? Any, like, favorite gadgets? Just grab whatever weapons you want. There are tons of them. Do I just, like, say I'd like to grab like describe anything i don't know this armory um, can he like describe anything he wants and i can roll to see if i have something like that uh sure okay man what do you want oh i did not the world is your oyster i think i'd have this kind of freedom uh well i'd definitely like to see if there's a rope turn the uh the stanley spear into a harpoon there was the rope we used to tie uh, you to the, to the roof mm -hmm. oh yeah very true are there 
any other sharp implements like flat, long steel that I could sharpen and turn to like a Stanley Blade sword. Um, if you want to like leave Cletus to have this much freedom, uh, to dash this far ahead of you, it it needs to be more something like you grab and take right now, or you're gonna. There are like a load of like kitchen knives and stuff because I was in I was in kitchenware. Kitchen knives would make sense. Gotcha. Okay. Or we could say you did it on the drive over, but kitchen implements. I want to grab a meat tenderizer if there is one. Yeah. Cool. I'm trying to think of things I've seen in my kitchen that I was like, <laughs> if I ever had to fight off a zombie invasion, that's what I'd go for. And a cast iron, a cast iron frying pan. All right, you got him. That's all you can get though. <laughs> so okay. Actually, Karen, do you have any axes? Spare axes? <sighs> Gotta um, ask you a question. You know that pillowcase full of batteries I have? I could put some forks Ooh, that in there. Would be good. Yes, let's do that. Ooh. Okay, I give her the pillowcase <laughs> full of batteries and forks. Beautiful. Dashing along, uh, Cletus reaches the room where the first thing you notice that is like some of the walls in this area have been like removed and taken out so that like it's a much wider space here and less of the displays are like strewn throughout here. You see a pile, a huge pile of meatballs and you immediately begin drooling and focus on only that and see Mm -hmm. nothing else in the room. Jump in Jehoshaphat. Uh, a- as Cletus stands in awe, everyone else catches up. You all enter the room, and whether you see the pile of meatballs first or the individual sat on a throne of carpets mm. uh, is up to you. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh def- no. Oh, Karen definitely <laughs> yeah. sees the person in charge first. So, uh, like, off to the left Uh, is the pile of meatballs. Uh, Cletus can try to just dive face first into that if he wants, or uh, you can turn your attention to the individual who is seated on the throne of carpets. Eric, would you like to describe this individual for us? Yes. uh, Oh my god. (laughs) Sitting up on this just gaudy of rug and they're kind of leaning against like he's kind of shaped it in this huge throne that's way too big for him. But this this man is sitting there, kind of uh, you know seems more very comfortable up there. And this is a uh, kind of older gentleman, kind of chiseled, kind of fit, little little older though, so he's not as as sharp as his younger days. Uh, he's got some scars on his face, some some kind of cuts going down just his his left cheek there. Salt and pepper hair that's a little slightly balding, but it's tightly cut. And he's got S and P gear all about him he's kind of got like a military like you know uh, vest tactical vest on and some heavy duty boots and he looks like you know he he takes care of his gear but also there's some ikea items kind of slapped in there and like some kind of you know silly patterns and like clearly he had to like patch some things on his pants here and there and like there's some fabric that doesn't quite match the whole mtf kind of gear going on otherwise Mm -hmm. He's also got some anomalous gear. He's got like a wrist kind of mounted thing, kind of like a fallout, you know, pit boy. This is uh, Agent Clint Kennedy. Would I know who this is? I I think that you have been stationed at uh, the SCP-3008 IKEA for a pretty long time. You would be vaguely familiar with, it might have been during your tenure even, that a, a initial exploration group was sent in upon discovery of the anomalous properties of SCP-3008. And you know that all contact was lost with This is one of the OG guys. So Stanley doesn't know that this is uh, a big deal. (laughs) Looks like a big enough deal for Um, me. (laughs) Ah, ah, hold on. Yeah, the only person who specifically would know it's a big deal is Martha. And the person who, like, assumes Uh, he's uh, a big deal is Karen. (laughs) He's got a throne. This man is highly trained. He is part of the military force that uh, I was. We can't, uh... Oh, finally, someone yeah, who knows something. Don't mess with him. What a relief. Oh, I'm not going to mess with him. I'm just got- going to ask him a lot uh-huh. of questions. All right. Shall we? Yeah. Okay, I'll walk up to his throne. Excuse me. Hi. Hello. M- so my name is Karen. Your friend there is about to dive into the uh, meatballs here, and I wasn't sure if he was going to start eating before he chatted with the person 
who supplied this wonderful feast. Oh, he's he's kind of a little bit of a um how do I put this? He's like a balloon animal. Uh, so we just sort of let he's kind of like ha- it's kind of like having a pet. He's a skip. He's been tagging along with us for a minute. I don't know what skip means, but whatever she said, yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, don't worry, I know how to handle pets and skips around here. And as he does this, he flicks his wrist a bit, and a IKEA employee walks over with a big old fork and spoon I, to that's... give it to Cletus. Oh, God. I get to have them here and now? Yes! So, a couple things. And now, <laughs> and now Cletus is eating. That is his task. Just doing the Garfield thing of, like, flicking them into his <laughs> mouth by the dozen. Like, I can't remember. Ken, was I supposed to bring some out, or was I only here to try these? I don't <laughs> remember my mission exactly. So, your good, uh, clown buddies, uh, Pius and... Eugene! Oh, what's... Eugene and Pius, that's correct. Um, so Eugene and Pius, uh, they had informed you uh, from their previous adventure in the uh, expanse of SCP-3008, uh, had come across uh, the delective and savory meatballs and told you that they were probably like the best they'd ever had. They would have given it a 10 out of 10, but since they had so much trouble with like getting stuck in here for a, a significant amount of time and they had to like open up a portal in order to get out and everything. They give it a 9.5 just for mm-hmm. just for the trouble. But otherwise, like, without that, 10 out of 10. So that convinced you, of course, to go and try these mm-hmm. for yourself. So I just literally succeeded at my goal, which is to try the forbidden meatballs. Yes. And how do they taste? Uh, scale of 1 to 12, they taste a 8. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you have a meatball modifier? I, I didn't add the meatball modifier of 5. These are a 13. Excellent. Mmm, that's really good. 13 out of 12 <laughs> would dive into an infinite Ikea and wrestle <laughs> with monsters to get again. So, uh, Cletus is currently rolling around in the pile of meatballs, sort of stuffing his face with them, and maybe even his many <laughs> and deep pockets. I will be here until I am needed. Or until there's a way out. I'm I'm just kind of stuck. So so you are you are you kind of in charge here? Is that I mean I see your your big nice chair that you've got. Are you are you some sort of authority figure in this in this place? Always right to the point. Uh, no, and yes, I am in charge of everything you see here with these things. He gestures towards the IK employees around him. And my little kingdom I've set up here, but it is not me who's in charge of this IKEA. You are seeking the manager, correct? You have a yes. complaint? I have several. I understand. I understand. I I think I can help you with that though. I know where the manager hides. I know where these meatballs come from. And I know about the secret IKEA menu items that they keep in the back. But oh he said God. that loudly enough as kind of looking at Cletus. But uh Yeah, no, I was about to interject. Did you just tell me there was something <laughs> more delectable than the meatballs? Because my ears have perked up. Is he lying? Because I know I would know if he was lying. Clint does know where the manager is. Uh he is not the manager. There is a manager. He may have been Less truthful about the, the the meatball thing, but it's a matter of, matter of perspective. Well, that is awesome. Um, follow up question: Why are you putting knives into these big monsters? Well, Karen, you know how dangerous these things can be at night. The employees. Yes, they're significantly more dangerous when they have knives in them. Yes, I I am aware. Well, these ones are significantly less dangerous because they are. I control. I can tell them who to cut up. I can tell them what to tear down. And they can help me keep the feral ones, if you will, away. How is that possible? What? How did you get your hands on all this foundation tech? What have you been doing to them? I've never seen any modified like these. And sorry to break this to you, but they did kind of destroy an entire tribe's home, which I would say is a net loss. For humanity? 
I've seen these things literally tear people apart. No one has ever been able to communicate with these things at night. Where anomalous technology comes in. The same way you got in here, the same way this place operates, the same way these things power cars when they're chopped up. If you know what's inside and you have the right gear, they are significantly easier to hack than you would think. You know what? I think you should stop using them to kill people, but other than that, I kind of respect (laughs) that. Martha has been trying to just kind of suss out this dude as well, and uh, she recognizes the name and everything, right? Yeah, you would have seen it on, like, the uh, MIA logs of the adventure that had taken place here. Okay. So I would know how how long has it been then since... How long has he been stuck in here? I don't know a good time frame, but I would say five plus years. Martha would want to, like talk to this guy but i think that she's also just got a lot of warning bells going off about him doing all of this too so like Uh, i think that there is a display screen that he has set up here um that is uh nearby and you uh you notice that there's a lot of movement going on on it and as you turn your perspective over to it you see that the clash between your newly allied and long time now friends of the, the the tribes people that you have met in your time here are continuing to clash with his forces. All right. So quick question, sir. I uh, what have you been doing out here for the past five years? If you've got all of these things under your control, and also for the record, a couple of them got out the front door. Like, why haven't you used them to leave? I mean. Did you know? I do not have exact uh, minute-to-minute control. I can't control their, you know, individuals. Uh, I can give them orders. I can tell them to do things. But the farther they get away from me, the more those uh, their natural IKEA instincts kick in, if you will. It's uh, a lot of kind of pseudo jumbo anomalous science. You know how it goes with yeah, the foundation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm lucky that I even made the breakthrough that made it work, but I've managed to scrape together something, and once you get a little momentum in here, it's been picking up. Uh, it has. I have been in here for a long, long while, and uh, I'm not going to lie to you, some of it has been a little bit rough and a little bit of uh, internal working through my feelings about, you know, my team that got lost when we came in here. Uh, yeah, uh, I understand that, know. man. Ugh. The upper management Wasn't... running this place. God. Uh, yeah. They really are doing a terrible job. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a good look. Yes, in the background, you continue to see uh, many of the people that you have met uh, continuing to get pushed back further and further and uh, maybe slightly slaughtered. Yeah. Why, why are you killing the civilians in here, sir? Like, that's... What is... What are you gaining from this? I mean... That's that's a uh, a long story and a very big part of my plan. I really I probably can uh, call them off here. Let me just give me a second here, and he's gonna fiddle around on his uh, little wrist thing, and the, the IKEA uh, under his control on those video monitors are gonna like, immediately stop fighting and put people down and just start kind of walking away, like literally just like mid fight, just start leaving slowly. Oh man, if it was that easy, I should have started off with that. I thought you were like. Had some, you know, monologue prepared you're about to launch into, maybe, or I don't know. I wasn't sure what I was expecting with the carpet throne thing. The clown was this close to just ganking the bitch, but then he realized that he didn't care about humans, and so he didn't. <laughs> All right, sorry. I've, I've been in here uh, for a long time, and it's, I've been on my own. So you've just been sitting in here all by yourself on your carpet pile? I mean, I had to build the carpet pile after a few months. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. The clown is chiming in. We we called off the army that was attacking the people, and that's fine. But now the clown is going to John Mulaney Pig walk up the carpet pile, and I'm going to grab him by the shirt because I have no <laughs> self-preservation. Because I only have one important question. You said that there was something tastier than these meatballs. I want to know if you were fibbing, and I want to know where they are if you wasn't. 
He's uh, Cletus. I think he's insane. Yeah, don't. I think that's the pot cone, the kettle black with the two of them. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that is. I've heard a lot of yappity yap, and I haven't heard a lot of smackity smack of my lips. A delicious. Hey, you had your meatballs. This is what I'm here for. Okay, calm down. You're about to hear an earful of vaporizer gun. Oh my god. Is there something that we can get you that'll get you to not have your monstrosities uh, just terrorizing us anymore? It's, uh, I was wondering if we could get to that, but uh, our niceties are being cut here as our funny friend here finally does something uh, worthy of the clown title. Uh, the yeah. Wasp. The archivist, the clown, points to Stanley, you, I've all chosen you <laughs> to be part of this wow. prophecy. <laughs> the prophecy, yeah. as you may have guessed, is not really about anyone until it needs to be about someone. Okay. I manufactured it. The people out here, they're superstitious. There's a whole Ikea store that makes no fucking sense. It goes on for miles in all directions, ceilings half a mile up in the sky. And the creatures keep coming, the meatballs keep coming. And I actually appreciate that. <laughs> I can show you where the manager is. I can show you where the nightmares come from. I can show you where they keep the special meatball subs they don't serve on the regular. And I can show you how to save this Ikea and be a hero. And at each of these things, he looks to the person that that mattered most likely the most to. But I need you to trust that I've got a plan I've been cooking on for five damn years. It hasn't been perfect. It's been me on my own. But I think with the four of you, we can make something good happen here. Will you listen to me mm. and stop trying to stab me, clown? Yeah, Cletus, put the knife down, please. You're lucky I pulled a knife. That was only my second or third uh, objective. Yeah, he has a frying pan yeah. that he didn't pull out. That could have been dangerous. <laughs> but does he have a giant mallet? <laughs> I haven't had the need for it yet. Martha looks over at Stanley and Karen and just, like, makes this expression of, what the fuck? <laughs> like, Karen is, is uh, waiting impatiently for him to get to his point. <laughs> so, wait, we'll hear you out, but uh, no guarantees on working together yet. We need, we, need, uh, we need details first. That's fair as I can expect from a group of strangers that have met this a few days ago and came to my kingdom. We can discuss it over more meatballs. Three, three finger pokes. Meatball sub. Do you have any that haven't been in a pile on the floor? I do. Those are just the ones that I had ready to be taken out, taken away by the uh, Ikea stuff. I have an entire kingdom of uh, carpet <laughs> extravaganza stuff set up. It's a lot, a lot of fun to show. I haven't had anybody around. Come on in. I'll show you, and we can have some fresher goods. He's the meatball man. <laughs> the meatball man. The Commodore of the meatball So stuff. you all uh, set up a table maybe like a kitty table uh to set some less ground ridden uh meatballs on top of though uh, cletus does not seem to care as he continues to swim through the pile uh the our perspective shifts back to the screen uh that is coming uh, that is giving a feed from a drone that is in the air we see aska Kalapa sort of uh standing near and uh, atop a very large defeated uh, modified <laughs> IKEA employee. All right. He uh, looks towards the drone and the screen and shoots a smile and a thumbs up. <laughs> Our perspective You're continues to pan outward, and we see the expanse of the store that is now, for the moment, less chaotic as a now uh, a joined group of tribes has agreed to face a common threat, and are willing to cooperate more with each other going forward. What adventures they and uh, our group of adventurers may face is unknown. Only time will tell. The end. Uh. I'm sorry, I need a moment! 
Okay. Are, are you telling me, are you telling me, with a wink at the camera, are you telling me that Asuka Kleppa is in with the Carpet King? Or is that just coincidental? <laughs> Uh, that's coincidental and a uh, per flair of continuing to show Aska Klappa in all his glory. Okay, because if Aska Klappa was a double agent, I was about to throw I, fucking shit. No. Aska Klappa, X Carpet double. King 2020, my new favorite ship. <laughs> the episode is now over. Please make your way to the exit of the store. 